vlog is going to be another really really fun one because I don't know if you can tell by what I'm wearing and from what's in the back but it's Pony Club Camp 2022 so oh god I'm just re oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm really really excited but very tired as you can probably tell so yeah we're just on our way however I'm not taking a quest since she won't load so I'm taking one of my instructors horses but I've ridden her before um she's really nice um but yeah so we haven't got to take the lorry so we've got everything in the back like my wheelbarrow and absolutely everything um but yeah I'm super super excited because camp is literally my favorite time of the year I love it so much I come back learning so much as well so yeah right so we're just on our way to rise home now so I'll see you guys when we get there so guys, this is us just arriving and these were all the timetables, troops, everything like that. Then our first like lesson was jumping and this is me on Kirsty so as you can see on the first day she hasn't been jumped very much until now and like she was a little bit stop starty, um she wasn't very fit and um she was a little bit slow but you will start to see that at the end of the week. I couldn't stop her and everything but she still she doesn't stop at anything she's still you know going really really well she's just amazing basically I absolutely love her there's my mum filming the wrong person <laughs> here's us going round again she's got a really nice pop on her though um but yeah she's so pretty bless her um and yeah I just basically love her basically <laughs> yeah I love her she's so fun to ride and she's so like honest and she's just oh i can't honestly i can't explain it she's just really really nice i mean, absolutely love riding her she has us doing a little tight turn there um <laughs> but yeah basically um look she doesn't look at any fillers or anything but yeah like i say right now she doesn't look like she's jumping very well but you'll start to see that at the end of the week i can't stop her she's jogging on the spot and she's jumping like an absolute stag so you know it's fun <laughs> no but yeah she's a really really good girl and here's her just jumping the last jump maybe not maybe yeah it's the last jump and then here's me going again so i'll just leave this one to you because yeah <laughs> And then this is me when I just got off from that lesson. Look how pretty she is. And she's got such a long mane, guys. So, yeah. So, before we go into the barn, we have to roll up our stirrups, take the girth down, everything like that. Because, <laughs> you know, it's pony club. However, everything they do at pony club, we all know that we don't do at home. <laughs> but, yeah. So, then this was my stable barn because there's two but this was mine and this is Kirsty's stable it's like a big american barn so it's so nice in there and yeah this is just me on tucking her basically so i'm gonna leave you guys And then this was our second lesson of the first day. It was a pole work lesson with Hannah and I absolutely love Hannah. She's so nice and I always get such a good session from her. So yeah, and I really like doing pole work lessons. I don't know why. Especially with one that actually does it properly. If that makes sense, like one that enjoys it. Um, it makes it so much more enjoyable, like dressage. Quest is actually quite good at it, so I've started to enjoy it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, Kirsty is so good. She leg guilds. Oh my god, I could leg guild all day. Honestly, because she actually crosses her feet. You have no idea. I could actually scream every time she does it because, oh my god, just feels so nice and it looks absolutely amazing. And then, this is us doing the first pole work exercise. As you can see, she's starting to get a little bit 
bouncy now and she's starting to jog on the spot a little bit and um, having to half halter basically. <laughs> And then that was us just going down it with ways and as you can see she picks her feet up like so it's like a rhythm like do 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 like I don't know how to explain it but it's absolutely amazing then here's us going down this it's so weird like there's a cross in the middle you can't tell but like the poles are made into like a cross if that makes sense um but yeah so it's really tricky to go down but it makes you really straight and really accurate and stuff um but yeah so here's Kirsty tripping over it because I didn't make her straight, bless her. But yeah, she's really, really good. And then we're just going down it again and that time she did it really really well and then here is the like lunch setup i guess well all meal set up there's just loads of tables and you have to bring your own fold up chair and then my mum got some really aesthetic clips um, <laughs> of random people here's a sweeping yard we have to do this all the time the yard has to be absolutely pristine then here's us after tack cleaning, here's the feed room, here's us having dinner and then every night after dinner we played like games like that night we played Pictionary and I was getting so angry over it honestly because oh can't and here's us doing the poo pile because we have to do that you know it's very annoying it's actually the neatest poo pile I've ever seen in my life anyways this is day two our first lesson with, was with Tinky Morris and it was a flat work lesson and it was absolutely chucking it down. When I say chucking it down, I mean chucking it down. Here's me. Like, oh my God, we got soaking wet. And then it started to absolutely hammer it down, but we carried on because, you know, absolute fighters over here. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, it did start to hammer it down. And then it was jumping time with Tinky. And it was still hammering it down, but we carried on. Because we are survivors. <laughs> Then as you can see here, Kirsty's getting really, really excited. Um, and I had to keep half holding because I couldn't actually stop. But yeah, she's so good, bless her. And she's so pretty, I actually can't get over it. Um, and basically, this line... Right, so we was learning that no matter where the pole is, the, the middle is always the same. So we did the poles all wonky and so... Blah, blah, blah. I'm seeing if we could still go down a straight line. Anyways, <laughs> this is an arena cross. We loved it. Kirsty was absolutely loving it. So, to anyone that doesn't know what an arena cross is, if you're not very horsey or anything, arena cross is basically where you have cross country jumps and show jumps put into one in an arena. Basically, that's what arena cross is. Um, but yeah, basically, is Kirsty going down that line, which she absolutely loved. And then this bus she does dodge out of, but this is completely my fault because I'm not holding my rein properly. Well, I'm not holding my rein properly, but I'm not keeping my leg on enough. But in the end, we did get over it, and she was really, really good. Um, so, yeah, and then we put the cross back in, and she's flying over them. And then we was just talking, and then we was doing it again, doing a little course. Then we was going to that ox. Well, it's actually a corner, but like made out of holes, and I'm not here. <laughs> but you know that's fine. And then we did it again. We did that shoulder. I think it's called a shoulder brush, but that is really difficult to jump. But she just fled over both of them. Like I was like, I'm sorry, my darling. <laughs> Guys, I can't stop saying that. Like, do you know Terence from TikTok? I can't stop saying it. I keep saying it because my mum, she keeps getting really angry. Because I keep saying it. Uh, love me, Jolene. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. We had another one of those, like, dodgy angled straights. 
on that other side of triple and then we did brush upright brush pepper sneeze in there but you know um so yeah we was just making a little course and Kirsty was absolutely loving it so yeah <laughs> but i'll leave you guys to it now And here's me once we've got our t-shirts and then it's the best day of all PUDS right so PUDS is basically a mask I'm good there every camp and I absolutely love it and here's Kirsty just flying over everything that I point her at this little double which is in the woods by the way so you're going from light to dark which most horses hate and also I'm wearing the black column from your set and Kirsty just looks absolutely amazing which I have to say. so yeah um, wearing a matching skin of and matching hat still and Kirsty because Kirsty's black she looks absolutely amazing in it and then here we are just trotting through the water <laughs> me and Chloe in our matching purple obviously we're pairs partners all the time and here's Kirsty cantering into it which can I just say I got absolutely covered coming out of that lovely slow-mo for us there very aesthetic then we're still going in but jumping out like that um we started off really small or well not really small but small and then we worked our way back up as you will see in a moment when we get jumping absolutely massive stuff and here we are jumping in and out again <laughs> kirsty's so good honestly and here we are jumping fully in Hi Becky, please stop barking, I'm trying to do a voice over. <laughs> and back out, and then this chicken feeder, bloody hell, this was absolutely massive. And then we're jumping out, honestly, these were ginormous. And then here we are jumping up a massive, massive step. And then down the massive step, and back up. And then here we are going down again, down. And I think I jump that little skinny, do I? Yep. And Kiss just flies over it. I actually love her so much. And here we are jumping down. That was massive. And then going back up. Again, massive. And then went up these two steps. Jump this on top. Jump back down, which does a massive Good jump. Girl. Off, which you have a really good picture of. And then we go over this Y thing. Over this log. And then... Oh, well, I did jump a bush after that, but obviously cut that off. Here we are walking back through the water and walking down to some more jumps. So I'm jumping the barrels to the brush that you'll see in a second. Oh, there we are. Kirsty's absolutely loving it. Jumping through the hedge, over a ditch, over this was massive. Honestly, absolutely ginormous it was. Then hear me jumping back out of the hedge. And over these like ski, I think they're called ski slopes. So one there. And then I go round to another one. She's there. Then over this, like, jump, ditch, jump. Oh, and here's some pictures, guys. How good are these? I absolutely love them. My face is though. Let's not talk about it, okay? Look. Oh my god. She jumped that massive. Look how good that is. My god, I actually love them all so much. <laughs> Look how big she jumps it. Go on. Honestly, she's such a good pony. I'd buy her. That one, massive. I would buy her, but her anyway, sorry. Then we went on a little hack, and this is us coming back in it because we need to take them for a little leg stretch. You do now. Yep.
Dylan's coming back from the hack. So yeah, basically, we just went around like, so Rise Home had a cross country course, but there's not many like very good jumps there. So we just kind of, there's a little hacking bit around the outside. So we took them for little hack basically. Um, and then here's us doing some tap cleaning. Um, here's us tidying the yard again. Here's me tap cleaning. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have to do this every day. Then here's us doing the peep out once again. Because we have to do it every day, like I already said. Oh. Honestly, it's literally a two tiered thing. <laughs> then here's a jumping on the last day, which we just did it as fun. And I was doing this with my eyes closed, guys. Um, and here's Kirsty clearing 95. When she's literally 14. Oh, and here's us doing games, right? We got Hannah to come and our our um, DCs to do this because they would not let us do games. And we just got Hannah to come with them. And here's me pushing Holly in it. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's so fun now. It's really, really fun. So, yeah. Um, so, we did a wheelbarrow race. And I can't even remember who won. It was really tight. I can't remember. But, yeah, it was really fun. I absolutely loved it. Then, here's us. Had to do this toilet roll thing. We definitely didn't cheat, so we would win, but we didn't cheat, I promise. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, definitely didn't cheat, lol. Like, weren't allowed to use that. Wait, that's not even my team, hang on a minute. Did they cheat? <laughs> what cheat? <laughs> I feel like we were cheating on that one. Let's go. Let's go. But we did this in troops, so basically each barn was a troop. So, yeah. Basically. Um, right, was this the strawberry? No, not the water. Right, so we had to try and fill our things up. These little jugs at the end. And so this is. <laughs> it's Glammy running for a life, honestly. We can't. It's so funny. Anyways, yeah. But games were so much fun. It was definitely my favourite part of the camp. Not even gonna lie, because everybody got involved and everybody was laughing and screaming and oh, it's hilarious. But so fun. She just spilt half a water. <laughs> Poor Grace. But yeah, everyone was. Oh, all of us at, at our poem club are so competitive. It's ridiculous, right? So competitive. Honestly. Anyways. Here's us doing some like, um, what's it called? Monsieur. Badge work, like, no, not badge work. Um, oh, I can't remember. Anyways, here's a TikTok that the whole of the camp got um into. But anyways, this music isn't actually it because you know copyright. It was we're a thousand miles from comfort. We have dropped that one, but yeah, it was so fun. Absolutely loved it. But yeah. That's it, basically, guys. We absolutely loved it. And literally everyone got involved, as you can see, it's like this one. And then, yeah. You <laughs> see? Um, yeah, it was filming. Anyway, so yeah, that's all for today, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I am also Imogen Grace Events and I'm those too. Subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos. And please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. That is all for today, guys. Bye.